Hi everyone. Today we'll take a look at the start-stop circuit and we're going to take a look at two different uh, applications. The first one is like traditional wiring diagram and what we have here is the first circuit here and you'll see the start switch which is a normally open going through a normally closed then to fire the output. The output then latches in and seals it so the output remains on. And it remains on until the stop switch is open. Now we also are going to put a jog in there and you see the jog on X2 and when it fires it will actually go through here turn on the output and we also have an external jog here that turns on output Y15. This is acts as an intermediate so that the circuit could actually close. So once we turn the jog switch off, this will then open up one scan later and then turn off the output. So let's see this in motion and we'll just call up the simulator. And here's my X0, X1 and X2. So start, stop, jog. So start it, you can see that it's flowing through here and I turn off the start and it seals it in and the output's still on. If I hit stop, the output then stops. Now keep in mind X1 is normally closed so it's on right now. Now if I hit jog X2, you can see the jog will actually turn on the output as long as the jog is held. And you see this intermediate here will also be on. So when I turn off X2, the intermediate goes off, therefore the output then goes off. And it's important in the PLC that you understand that everything is make before break. When you actually wire things up, they are always wired up break before make. So you can see the physical contacts leave and then make it again. Okay, let's take a look at our second example. In the second example, what we're going to use is a set and reset instruction. So this is a little different. And what we're going to do is X8 um, is a start, X9 is a stop, and X10 is a jog. And our output's going to be Y8. So here what we're going to have is a start will actually set a condition, which means turns it, turns it on, and the stop will reset it. And you'll notice we have the jog, and in the jog X10, we have a normally open contact here. And then we have a trailing edge one shot. And what this will do is reset it after we turn the jog off. So let's see this in motion. So X8 comes on. You see the, the set condition happens. And... X9 will then reset it. So set and reset or start stop. On the jog function X10 we jog it, it turns on. We release the jog, it turns off. On, off. So that's it for today. Next time We'll talk about memory retentiveness.